I'm Matt West. This, Jimmy Palmiotti. What is going on with Radical and what is Time Bomb? Well, Radical is uh, obviously the new kids on the block and uh, in a big way. You know, a uh, couple of years now. They're, they're doing books that aren't superheroes. They're doing books that's uh, genre-oriented. So sci-fi, horror, action, kind of stuff like that. And again, a guy like me, I kind of like that stuff. You know, I kind of I kind of grew up on all these genre films. And um, so Justin Gray and I pitched a book called Time Bomb uh, to them, and they loved it. The book's basically modern day. They find a, hit, a, a city hidden ber beneath Berlin, and they accidentally trigger off a, to a bomb. It's a mega bomb. And... It's a virus. The United States government, all these governments are getting together. They don't know what to do because the virus is spreading and wiping out life on the planet. So they had this experiment called the time bomb experiment where they actually set up a bomb and they could send somebody back in time like a week or two weeks. They don't know because every time they tried it, something went wrong. Anyway, we get a crew of four people. They send them back. It doesn't go back a week. It doesn't go back two weeks. It goes back to the last days of World War II. And, these, and it's, you know... These four people stuck at the end of the world would have to get into Berlin, which is run by, you know, the Nazis are there, and to take out this missile in the underground city. So it's kind of fun, and they mess with the past a little bit, and it has its uh, repercussions. Sign me up, man. I'm ready to get on from issue number one. How exciting is this for you as a big-time, well-respected comic creator and, and force in the comics industry to, to strike out and do something that's really, it's a passion play for you. It's a mature reader comic. It's its creator-owned and independent. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely, we create a share because we both own a piece of it since they're paying the bills. But at the end of the day, you know, I have stories I want to tell, and uh, these kind of stories don't always fit in with the superhero genre, and it's great to have a company like Radical around because they're, they're looking for alternative stories, things that don't really fit in the norm, but uh, I myself, as I grow up, the superheroes are less and less attractive to me because it's the same. It's still the same guys hitting each other. It's two guys hitting. So I'm looking for something a little more intense and a little more crazy. And uh, our tastes change, like in films. You know, we love the we love films now that maybe when we were in our teens, we were like, oh, I can't believe I like that film. You know, Red Dawn is one, right? You know, remember when I saw it? I thought it was cool. And then I watched it last week. I was like, this this is crazy. Wolverine. Uh, Wolverine. Right? How retarded. But. So uh, with, with, with this kind of book and with a company like Radical, I get a chance to do some books that are more adult-oriented, more mature. Fantastic. Where can they find you on the web if they want to know more about Radical? Uh, uh, on, on, well, there's a Radical website. I know it's, if they want to find me, um, I'm at Jay Palmiotti on Twitter, so they can terrorize me if you like. Done and done.